Hey guys, happy splasher here. Good morning. So right now I'm going to actually continue on with our journey battles. So yeah, so let's see how far we can go this time. So currently we are on this battle here, Sturdy Mori. Let's take a look at his skills. All right, so he kills an enemy with less than half their health. And at the end of the turn, they will take negative attack to all enemies. So a couple things, we want to make sure that we have our heroes not have less than half their health. So we'll need to have something like heal or metal shield. And then on top of that, we're going to have negative attack to our heroes. So we want to make sure we have heroes that can either get an attack boost or have immunity. So let's also take a look at some of our heroes here. Pretty strong heroes. And we're going to hop right in with our squad for League and make changes based on that. Here he is. We will stop him by fight and you will warn the prince. All right, so let's start. Actually, we're going to start with our grace over here on D3 or D1 rather. We'll get some protection with the Caesar's head. At this point, we see the negative attack. So once again, we will want something that has an attack boost. Guess we'll go with the ghost over here on C1, just to block. Okay, we did end up silencing these male heroes, so that's good. Uh, we don't have anything to give an attack boost, so that's a problem. So we'll go for a board wipe. Okay, we do have the seven extra attacks on Grace, but that's not really going to matter because she has no attack. But we can attack for now and see what happens. Okay, we have our heroes cleared out by the Loathe Spore Loser. I'm going to go with the Dead Lord here on D2 and clear these heroes out. Okay, we're taking a little bit of damage here with the Dragara. Okay, and not enough damage from the Mind 10 to actually clear these out, so unfortunately we will be taking lethal next turn unless we can find a way to block. Okay, the attack steal on the Mori and the Sea Tust is going to be a problem too. So we will make some changes. So we'll head over to our squad and see what we can find that can give an attack boost so we can filter for that. Okay, we do have the Tiling Dragon Dance over here. Probably going to need heroes with Mental Shield just so we can get around that first skill. Okay, so let's see. We can also remove negative effects with the Madame Lotrix, so that'll be a good thing to have. Probably don't need the Groot as we won't be destroying anything in battle directly. We do have this grandma here that gives an attack boost to all of our heroes, but that might not be enough. We have this hero here, this mother owl, that can give us an attack boost whenever we summon a hero. So it doesn't look like enough of our heroes can actually get an attack boost after that. But we probably do want to keep our heroes alive. Okay, so let's put in the... Eternal Sun for an attack boost. Oh, do we not have... Let me see what else we can do. I'm going to filter and then just look at our melee heroes that we have available. Versus our ranged heroes next. We do have an immune hero here that gives us a little bit of a health boost. We do have some attack steel, but those heroes are pretty strong. Suppose we could do curse, but that might be a little slow against this type of squad that we're facing. And I think we can be okay with what we currently have. We can test out other heroes as we go in. I think the Shimun is going to be good for some protection and along with the Grace over here if we can keep her alive. Not sure if the Maiten is going to be helpful because we can't do a full board clear. So let's swap her out. I 
And you know what? Maybe if we do another filter for another hero. Do know that this terror from below does stop some non-chaos, non-building heroes from attacking for a turn. So we can try and use that. Although it will get in the way of our own heroes, but yeah, we'll see what happens. The matriarch would probably be the eternal sun, so that way we can protect our board. Because we're almost there, we just need to deal a little bit more damage. So I'm going to summon the Count Vlad because there is a chance that it might get in the way of us attacking here. And I guess there's also a chance that the Count Vlad this time will get in front of the Terra from below or from the Grace here, but we'll take that chance. Actually summon her over yeah. here on C1, so at least she'll be able to get an attack boost for later. Yeah. Okay, majority of these heroes are wounded, so let's clear those out. And we have seven extra attacks now. We're also going to go with the power from below, so at least we can stop some of the other heroes from attacking. Okay, and I don't want to trigger off that reducing the attack of heroes in the line, so what we're going to do is just skip the turn to avoid doing any summons. We'll let our random damage occur. Go for some more damage. And there we go. Prince Orion will avenge us. He will swallow you with your big... with your bones. <laughs> like a big fish eats a small one. Interesting comparison, but you know there is always a bigger fish. Okay, that was Sturdy Mori. Got some terror from below, which is kind of ironic. Okay, let's go and take a look at the squad that we used in order to get this done. So we do have this Yostra over here. This gives us a health boost for every female at the end. Also, we can deal some damage at the beginning of the turn and then also silence some male enemies. And more importantly, has flight, so we can at least stop the stronger male, the stronger melee heroes from attacking. We have the grace with the random damage and also the attack boost, which helps us out a lot. And then also the seven extra attacks, which help to deal the damage. We have the Madame Lotrix, which summons the puppets that removes negative effects once they are destroyed. They also reflect damage and help us set up for the board wipe. We have the terror from below over here, which stops the non-chaos, non-building heroes from attacking for a turn, so it freezes their heroes that aren't chaos or buildings. We have the Shadow Shimuna here with the shard that gives this hero mental shield, and then we also have the counterattack, which also allows us to set up for the destruction skill. We have the Masura here, which gives extra copies when she attacks and also gets an attack boost as well. We have the Dead Lord, which has the extra zombies and then also transforms the melee enemies into zombies. That helps us against the Spore Loath. And then finally, we have the Eternal Sun, which gives the Mental Shield at the end of the turn and then also has an attack boost and negative effects to ranged enemies. So yeah, so that was it. We will see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.